in previous lecture we have seen the introduction about polarization and during that discussion we came to know that the pattern or orientation of electric field in direction of propagation will tell us about the polarized pattern of the signal. It means the signal can be horizontally polarized, signal can be uh, vertically polarized, signal can be circularly polarized, signals can be elliptically polarized. So, basically these are the three different polarizations available in RF uh, transmission techniques to make this uh, signal robust against the bending effect, interference effect and many other effects. Today, we will see the mechanism how can we introduce the polarization in RF signals. So, the first if you see here how to generate circular polarization, because we want to focus on uh, circular polarization, because circular polarization is better than the linear polarization which is uh, horizontal polarized or vertical polarized. So, let us start the mechanism. If you see here there are three diagrams uh, we have represented here. The first one is E 1 is shown along y axis and x uh, the blue dot is showing, uh, blue dot is showing x. So, the uh, only uh, vertical polarized signal is there in E 1. So, it is linearly polarized we can do it uh, uh, horizontally also uh, means uh, the direction of propagation orthogonal or parallel will be termed as horizontally polarized or vertical polarized. If you see the second diagram it is elliptical polarization it is not exactly the way Lissajous patterns are being generated when uh, two orthogonal fields are introduced into the signal and we get Lissajous pattern as exactly circular pattern in CRO. So, the third case is circular polarization this is what we require in our uh, dielectric resonator antennas during excitation as we have seen in previous lecture that the circular polarization can be achieved either by modifying geometry of dielectric resonator antennas or modifying the feed uh, or the the feeding technique to DRA. So, with both uh, uh, techniques we can achieve circular polarization, but the outcome of the field pattern of E field will be like this. If you see here E 1 and E 2 both are perpendicular to each other and the field will rotate uh, either in uh, clockwise direction or in uh, anti clockwise direction. So, clockwise direction rotation if we are able to achieve we will say that it is uh, right hand circular polarization, but if we are able to rotate this E field in anti clockwise direction we will say LSCP or left hand circular polarization. So, we are going to see today how can we do this. The basic mechanism in feed is that either we can make E 1 component dominant or we can make E 2 component dominant. So, the dominant uh, component of field will give us the rotation effect. Let us see how. Now, if we see here that the point 1 says switching from LSCTP, RSCP or vice versa by reversing magnetic current by changing slot position. This is one technique. Metallic strip placed at edges is second technique. Orthogonal mode generation is another technique dual feed characteristics is another technique, mode merging is also one technique, nose to corners uh, defining is another technique, generating C p with single fleet is really challenging task, but we have obtained this also. Keeping impedance bandwidth un unchanged and getting circular polarization is very essential. DRA geometry based approach we will see this also. So, this is how we can get circular polarization. Now, if you see these are the fields uh, 
we have drawn here using CST or HFSS and here you see the initial fade was like this here 1, 2 and 3. It means if we divide this there are 5 modes being excited into x direction. Now, after this is linear position, uh, polarization plot after we introduce circular polarized uh, technique. Now, you will see this one mode these are the two modes and this is third mode. So, rotation is obtained. Similarly, if you see here these are the standstill uh, excited modes. Now, after introduced uh, circular polarization you see that there, there is a rotation being obtained in clockwise. Similarly, here similarly here similarly here similarly here. So, we are uh, seeing E field pattern rotation. Let us see one more if you see here again very clear diagram is there for E field. So, this is E field diagram these are the higher or mode excited here in this DRA. Now, after circular progression you feel that there is a field rotation obtained. Similarly, if you see clearly in this diagram these are the initial fields after rotation these are the E field patterns obtained. So, these are all circular polarized field for better representation if you see here one more plot these are the mode excited and this is circular polarized fields E fields. There is no change as far as mode is concerned, but there is a rotation being achieved in the fields. Now, what was the mechanism here? If you see here these are the feed mechanism this, this is the slot. So, it was a rectangular slot initially later on we have converted this, uh, this slot into this. So, this is dominant here yes, the length of dimension of this is uh, longer as compared to this. So, this uh, because of uh, higher dimensions we are able to uh, get the uh, dominant uh, field excited and we are able to achieve this uh, field rotation that is known as circular polarization. If you see here figure 2 uh, the plot uh, B represents H field inside DR without rectangular slot and C H field inside DR with stair shape slots. So, this is stair shape slot. Now, if we see here shape, so this is higher order mode represented here, these are the rotations with the same number of higher modes. This is known as circular polarization. If we see here of course, uh, these are the PDF this this diagram will uh, give us more clarity see E field with rectangular slot figure A E field with say, stair shape slot and this is in stair shape slot one is made dominant. So, now the field is rotating like this. So, this is how we are able to get the uh, circular polarization. Now, I will be able to show you few uh, diagrams where uh, we have created uh, the circular polarization. Let us take the, this diagram only. So, if I am able to let us take I have drawn a rectangular DRA of this nature and from the uh, inner part if we are able to extract out this material of like this. It means in this DR there is a cavity of this nature because uh, in place of DR the DR material we used TMM and the TMM has 13 I. It means the uh, epsilon R is 13 or 12.8. Now, in place of that uh, DR material we have introduced air and the air uh, permittivity is 1. So, we are able to get circular polarization only because of the shape of DRA we have not altered anything as far as feed is concerned, but only the 
cavity of that particular shape where E field becomes dominant in one direction has been created inside a rectangular DRA and because of that cavity created with different material we are able to achieve uh, circular polarization. So, likewise there are various techniques by which we are able to get circular polarization as I already said that because of circular polarization being introduced into dielectric resonator antenna the field becomes robust radiating fields will be robust because uh, be in during rain attenuation as I already gave you the example that if it is horizontally polarized or vertically polarized the signal gets totally 100 percent attenuated. But if it is a circular polarized signal, there is no effect of uh, rain attenuation absolutely, and your signal uh, you will be able to transmit and receive signal continuously. That is all about uh, circular polarization. In detail, we can take few cases in the uh, next class where we will see live dielectric resonator antennas with. Uh, some sort of measurement setup in an acute chamber and then based on those radiation patterns we will be able to uh, compute the change in azimuth angle, elevation angle and then E y by E x ratio or x l ratio is uh, the measurement point of this. If we get x l ratio of our design DRA lesser than 3 or uh, lesser than uh, uh, 2 1 then we will say that it is circular polarized. Thank you very much.